Gadsden and I am uh, trying to do something different. I am going to try and explain to you how to do the uh, PayPal thing. Uh, so the first step I wanted to have you to do is go ahead and as you can see here I'll uh, enter your into uh, paypal.com and uh, look for click on merchant services. Let's see if I can bring that up here somewhere. And um, you see that uh, merchant services is here so when you click on that that's the uh, thing that gets you started so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on merchant services now and um, uh, as you see uh, next thing we're gonna do is actually just uh, click on see right down here where it says uh, create a button we're just gonna click on the uh, donate button and so when you click on the donate button it thinks about it a little bit and then it comes up so now what I wanted you to take a take notice of is that um, you can actually create a number of kinds of uh, things but our focus is going to be on donations <coughs> and so you see it's very simple just type in some name and it doesn't even have to be a real name let's say for example you want to call it uh, say uh, pay me what uh, we agreed on okay and then over here in the donation ID you want to put that in as well in this case we'll just call it uh, wedding stuff and when you actually download all of the activity that wedding stuff will show up and uh, you can customize the button and I'm not going to take you through that right now want to make sure that is US currency and now the thing that I put in here is the donor wants to enter their own contribution amount and this is how you get the flexibility because if you click on this button it's going to force you to it's going to force them to put in a certain amount okay then we go down to put in the data for the merchant ID uh, and if we click on this just to see what that is let me bring that so you can see into view here uh, if you choose plain text it will be displayed in the button code anyone including spammers can copy this address for their own use so well maybe we should do the one that says secure so let's just click on secure and then the next step is uh, you can save the button if you want or you can customize advanced features whatever they might be or you can just say create the button and that's what we're going to do we're just going to click on create the button and um, there you go now this googly gawk in here if you will is the code that you would cut that you would copy into your website but we're not going to do that what we're going to do is this is all you have to copy and um, just click on the select code and then you just say uh, copy and there you go all right then you just put that link into your email it's that simple and that's all and as you can see the only things that's left are do you want to create another similar button do you want to go to my save buttons and stuff like that and that's it is that simple if you can get to merchant accounts I believe this is in my simple just Ron Gadsden ID so I think that will uh, do it and so now at this point I'm going to be doing things like figuring out how to shut this down so I don't mess you up okay so hopefully this uh, works well and uh, thank you very much alright